Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode. I think this is uh, episode six now. Uh, last episode, I said we were going to be uh, attacking and invading uh, the Cordrazine uh, planet. But before we do, do that, first, I think I need to clear out this area first. The Saint system. As you can see, the Saint system has like a huge planet here. S like 16 population. But it's heavily defended by uh, remnants here. Let's check out this remnant. Look at that. Look at that. Lasers heavy engines i don't even know what these are dangerous very dangerous and if you uh, noticed when we first started i do have my destroyers up and running so i think i just want to bring them into combat and let's see how they fare see how they fare this will be a nice little test of their capabilities I'm gonna set them up in a nice little line formation and i'm gonna control them uh, okay, so the remnant saw them. Now we're in a nice little line formation. Hopefully, uh, this will turn out okay. So let's watch the fight commence. Slowly speed it up a bit. Let's get going here. Oh, here we go. There we go. That's what I want to see. Ugh. I want to see my drones. Okay, here we go. Here's the fight. Click all that. Yeah, I think I want them to just go in turret mode here. Stay in that nice formation. Oh, sh shit. Okay, this pause. Everyone attack that. So, yeah, this is a, a cruiser class remnant. Come on. Everyone's not in position here. Everybody attack. Come on. Oh, he's going down. He's going down quickly. Let's see uh, his modules start disappearing. Oh, there, there was the torpedoes there. Another torpedo salvo. More torpedoes coming in. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he's going down. He's not having a good day. He's trying to retreat. I think we're pursue. Hopefully, uh, our drones can take out these uh, enemy uh, remnants here. Oh, there goes a salvo of torpedoes. Here they come now. Oh, this is going to be it. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, there it is. Huge salvo. Yeah, our drones are uh, doing quite nicely versus these uh, enemy uh, remnants. Now they're just going to be taken out by our uh, secondary w missile si 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 systems. Let's try that again. So I'm going to put them back in the hold position mode. I'm just going to have them space out like that. Yeah, everybody return to hangar, please. Thank you. Oh, this one's a little bit weak. As you can see, uh, let's pause the game. As you can see, his uh, two combat engines are down. He's still got two more. He's got half. So, oh, he's also got his uh, rear shield is down. That's not good. Yeah, he's a little bit damaged. Missing a, a, a drone hanger. 70% hull integrity. Still okay. Still in fighting shape. Hopefully, every uh, this might be trouble. The thing is, the reason why these aren't uh, probably warping is because they have this FTL um, indicator, this sort of debuff. It happens because they're near a planet, so they're right beside here. So they probably have to be like way in this zone before they can start warping. So this is going to be a problem for these three, or should I say four? <coughs> oh, here we go again. Okay, get the drones out. Pause, attack that. Yeah, I think these uh, destroyers might have a hard time here. They need uh, support real quick. Here we go, I think that should be enough. Let's reposition these. So we can get a nice line going. Okay, he's returning to base, this one. He's had enough. He's out of ammo. This one's getting close to being empty. This one is still somewhat in fighting shape. This remnant's going down. The Xeno fighter here. Just a barrage of missiles here and gunfire. Oh, it's ridiculous. Okay, 
Okay, Xeno Fighter's going down. This thing should be going down pretty quick here. Come on. Yep, there we go. Okay, he's making short work. The destroyers are doing a great job here. These two look like they're going back to base. I had enough. They ran out, ran out of ammo. The drones are probably just about done as well. Yeah, they're out of ammo as well. Shit. Hopefully they we can take these out. Okay, a couple more salvos should take this out. Hold on, let me pause again. Oh, everybody's out of ammo. Shit. Yeah, I don't think we can take these out. We're out of ammo. Everybody just retreat. Yeah, it's too many. Too many. Uh-oh. And because now they're stuck in a gravity well, now it's, they're taking the long way home. Shit, hopefully they don't uh, die here. Alright, well, while that's happening, hopefully they all make it. I'll just pause the game for a sec. We're going to go back to here. We're going to make uh, two colony ships, two advanced colonies. Check this out. So it has the food replicator, the manufacturing plant, research, military outpost, extra resources when you first colony, and the actual colony module. Very nice. It's worth it. And you know what? I think also I'd probably want to make even more more destroyers honestly they're just so good they're, they're pretty good I think I did a good job here the one downside is probably their ammo capacity they don't have a lot of staying power but what can you do yeah I think so because these are on the outskirts I think it would be probably best to keep these guys here just so in, in case the Cordrazine do come, they're not going to just like steamroll everything. I still got planets here. Uh, I didn't know that. Oh, I still got a ton of planets here. What's happening? I didn't know this. Still got a bunch of remnant stuff. Hiya, Desjardins. Okay. A lot of work to do in my little system here. I shouldn't have <laughs> declared war. Let's end it now. Now. Content. More content. Okay. I'm gonna speed this up here. Okay, now they're starting to get I think this one's not gonna make it. These guys are gonna make it? Oh. oh this guy maybe he'll make it. Hopefully. Nope. So I lost two destroyers. Fuck. That's annoying. At least I have pretty decent warp though. I can't say no to that. So, these guys will get all repaired. I'll get more destroyers. Uh, let's see, can I maximize? Take that. Biosphere. Another bio, yeah. Yes. So I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't really want to uh, develop this anymore. But I don't don't want to. Oh, what's happening? Oh, that's not good. I don't like that noise. Hopefully, it was just a scout. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's just clear this place right out. It should all be repaired now. So our destroyers are coming in again. Speed this up. Uh, 
The Juice Destroyer should be able to make quick work. Let's have them all focus fire. Was that drone almost dead? Okay. Missile barrage. Another missile barrage coming. Oh, he's done. One more. Then we have the whole entire system to ourselves. One more. Bang, 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 bang. Pew, 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 pew. All right, that's great. Awesome. Alright, so I'm going to take all you guys, go back to the serious. Why so serious? <laughs> so serious. So funny. Alright, so now I'm going to just deploy. Where am I here? No, nope. a lot of scrolling. No, nope, that's not the planet. I'm going to deploy here, take one of that, deploy there. We'll go back to Empire, click that. Then we go to Colony, make another one. Speed up. Then I want to clear these areas out. The Amanda and Reigns and... Uh, is there any stuff here? Yeah, there is. I knew there was a reason why I didn't colonize these places. So then I'm going to take these guys, these destroyers. Pause the game, take all that, grab that, take all this, port face, scroll back out, get the muster station going here. Oh my god, why do you harass me so much? Stop harassing me. Just accept your fate. Okay. Then you won't have to worry. This guy's just going in. Let's see if my... Let's go to Empire. Double click on that. Nope. Didn't want that. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Select. Go to Saint. Is this another planet? Nope. All right, so let's, ooh, an ancient pillar. Maybe later. I'm not ready for that yet. The thing is, I would send troops now, but sometimes these like ancient relics might hide dangerous stuff like zombies or just like general creeps. Uh, you know what, I'm not gonna make that, nor am I gonna make that. So, because this has pretty low uh, richness, it's probably best if I make some sort of production first, just so I can like get going here. Try to build it quick. Then maybe get some taxes going. <gasps> the secrets of the remnant is mine. I should save. Now I can research remnant stuff. For relatively cheap. And now it's just going to be gangbusters from here. Oh my goodness, harassment. Please, please stop attacking, please. That's where, then I have more destroyers somewhere. Yeah, there they are. Why, why are you way over there? I said go over here. Tactical nukes. Oh my God, everything's coming up Millhouse. Once I get these remnants, I think we're going to upgrade our uh, destroyers here. Make them a little bit more expensive, but I think it'll pay dividends in the future. Oh, did I kill them already? Oh, okay. Fair enough. All right. All right. So I did kill them. 
I do even need uh, an army to do it. Set those up over here. Actually, just muster over there. Actually, muster over there. Okay. Uh, taxes are going up. Good. Start. Let's see. Do that. Do that. Do this. Do that. And have it like build up slowly. Get aeroponics. Wow. They they must be going through some sort of trouble or something. Like we're peaceful. We just we just are enslaving the owl logs because we're peaceful. Come on, you guys. Come on. Okay, so they're prepared. And I got the remnants, but let's do another fight here. Oh, we should try researching something. You know what? I think it's time for cruisers. I think we got uh, enough tech to where we can start making some good, nice cruisers here. Get that, maybe. Get that. Yeah. Yeah. It'll take a while, like 179 turns, though. Let's see. Oh, okay. Lure this guy. Get them in a smaller formation here. A little bit too spaced out. Moving real slow. That's okay. I think we'll just wait for this guy to come to us. Just so everyone can stand in a nice, lovely position here. I'm thinking. Thinking. Let me speed this up a bit. Okay, he's coming. I'm thinking we can just like get a nice, solid salvo. So they're all going to hold position. Once he gets into range, this uh, remnant class destroyer oh here he comes we're just gonna look load up in him load up in him yeah we're gonna load up in him there we go oh where's the torps where's my torps where's the torps uh oh there's no torps it's okay though i think we're gonna make short work of this guy oh no there's the torps now bang 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 there you go, unloading into him. Yeah, he's not gonna make it. All his engines are down. Oh, just the barrage, he can't handle it. There he is. Such a nice ship. So now we're gonna move in a little bit closer. Oh, look at all those drones deploying. I don't know why the missiles do that. I think they're trying to, like, follow the path. Oh, whatever. I don't know. I give up on this game. I give up. I'm gonna make short work of this guy. Let's slow down the fighting. Oh, that looks disgusting. Let's not. Oh, it's such a mess. Uh, all those missiles. I think I made a pretty good ship. You know, nice, well-designed craft. Yeah, I, what was that? And I think, yes, we should all just go back to base. They're all going to head to Andalf, so that's fine. So, while they're all doing that, I think it's time to save. I don't trust the game. It might break. Save. Now let's go to ship. See? Isn't that what I said? It would break. Okay. Uh, hold on a sec. Alright, we're back. So it crashed twice. I loaded it. And then it crashed immediately. And I loaded it again. And now we're back. My god. See, I love this game. I do. I think it has a lot of potential. But it's just like... 
the execution just isn't there you know it just isn't isn't there but you don't get a game like this in terms of like ship design and crafting like tell me a game that has this kind of free form crafting and i'll sh I'll, t sh I'll tell you a liar basically i'll show you a liar there's no other game that has this kind of free form crafting look at this i can't do that with any other game i can't just fill it up with like armor Ugh. Ugh, frustrating Ugh. anyways i think it's time we just unlocked the remnant stuff okay and then we had nukes we have nukes and we can put tactical nukes on our battleships oh my god it's so crazy all right so i think that's what we'll do um i think we're gonna upgrade a little bit here and because we have remnant tech we can put like a single single little ancient reactor like look at that 500 power 500 health the cost is 50 which is like it, it, like a little bit more expensive than two medium reactors but if you want to save space and you're willing to pay an, like an extra ten dollars because two mediums are basically forty dollars for the cost and the mass is like 30 so it weighs less so you're getting a little bit more top speed with a ancient reactor a remnant reactor and it has a lot more coverage too so yeah now here's the best thing about uh the remnants is their shield look at the shield here you got 5000 shield strength 100 shield size recharge at 75 power at warp is at 10 regular power that's just like the power that just takes up from the ship not really from the warp is minus 50 compare that to the class 1 shield class 1 shield 2000 shield strength uh, 75 shield size uh, size 30 recharge so that's the recharge speed power at warp 120 ancient shield is 10 power at warp holy fucking shit and the power actual power is at 75 it is ridiculous the only thing about the ancient shield though it is a little bit more expensive it cost at 24 production that's how much it costs versus 16 production but you know what i think it's fucking worth it honestly because i need two of these for the pre to get one of the for uh, i need let's try that again i need two uh class one shields in order to get the same shield strength as a uh, ancient shield which ends up costing more like at 32 so these are technically cheaper overall and the thing and the thing is I, i'm willing to splooge you know i'm willing to splooge a little bit more for this look at that my god you know it's it'll be glorious it's gonna be glorious let me tell you a little bit more expensive you know i don't really want that there we go so same thing palace steel keep it lightweight keep it mobile do that <laughs> Uh, let's see. Could probably do what we wanted before with the combat thrusters now. Yeah, we can. Actually, I think I liked it the way it was before. We had two warps and two combats. Because the way I was playing with them before was I kind of just had them like standing still and just rotating on the spot. And when you're just rotating on the spot, you don't need that much combat thrust. Really? Not really. Not really. So, same thing. Let's have hangar attack missile drones right there and let's see do I want missiles I do I do do that there get the bridge there yeah this is gonna work out very nicely I think it's getting real expensive though uh, 1.6 I think by the time we're done here it's going to be 1.7 cost so an extra two hmm not sure how I feel about that maybe we can reduce the cost a little bit more here maybe maybe perhaps you know what? let's get rid of it again let's try this again let's try this again one two three four that's pretty good coverage yeah let's try that let's try that I 
I know I want to have uh, point defense right there. I know I want that. Some guarantees. Let's do some guarantees. I want some guarantee right there. Yeah, that's nice. And even. Uh, I think I do want the MRMs. I just do. Let's go back to this. Medium warp. This. Go back to hangar here. Here. And then bridge here. Okay. You know what? Maybe I don't even need an ancient reactor. I never even thought about that because they are so cheap in terms of like warp, right? I don't even think I need it. Wow, I don't yeah, I don't think I need it. Holy shit. Holy shit, this is going to be like the cheapest fucking nuclear. Oh my god, this I gotta stop swearing. I can't swear. I'm sorry. I can't swear. It's just like, it's so exciting, right? Exciting. These are exciting times we live in right now. Do this. Do that. Oh my gosh. A little bit. Mm, can I bring that down? Just a little bit more. There we go. Can I just squeeze out point six? Damn it. Just, no, I don't want point six. Come on, just, just give me something. I could do that. I'll keep it at point five. It's at 46. There we go. I kept the upkeep cost at point five and I got two nukes this time. And I've got an increase and, um, oh, it's just, such a massive buff. Look what we got here. It's only an extra six. It costs an extra six. Before it was 380 production cost, our mainstay destroyer. That was at 380, and this is 86, 386. Upkeep costs the same. Uh, power capacity, don't care. FTL time, infinite. FTL speed, it's a little bit lighter now, actually. A li I think it is a little bit lighter. Uh, the turn rate is higher. Before it was like 17.6, this is 18.3. Our ammo time is also higher at 46.9. Ship offense, 5,000. Before it was at 2,000, this is 5,000 now. This is double. And we have a shield power of 20k now versus our 10k. This is 100% uh, a complete upgrade to what we had before. 100%. No joke. Holy shit. I about done myself this time. All right, so we're going to save that. That'll be the mainstay destroyer 2. And that'll just replace all of our mainstay destroyers, like honestly. Like why wouldn't I just make these like forever? It's too good. Oh, I can't wait to use these. And we have even more Holy shit, look at the range on the tactical nuke. The range on the tactical nukes is 15k. Just to compare, the LRM is 10k. Oh my Christ, this is going to be a disaster in a good way. It, absolutely. Absolutely. Dangerous. Effing dangerous. Okay. So, where's my stores now? So they're just going to head over there. And while they're going off to repair, uh, I'll move them back to the soul system to Earth because that's where I want them to do the refits. Oh, what's that noise? You hear that? What's that noise? Let's pretend that's not happening because I don't know what is causing it. I'm pretty sure it's just another glitch in the game. Just another one. The one of many. Alright, so that's doing stuff over there. Let's speed this up a bit. Times six. Let's also save. Sad three. Where it all comes together. Uh, let's see. Mm. 
So ignore the noises in the background. I don't know what's causing them. I'm sorry. I do not have a clue. Just a, a bad omen, if I ever heard one. I don't want soil enrichment. No, I need content. Give me content. Okay, so that's doing stuff over there. What is that noise? That is such a frustrating sound. Okay, I'm gonna bring these all back to Seoul because that's where I want it to Seoul. That's where I want to um, want to go. Sorry for repeating to Seoul twice. I did that for comedic effect. Not sure if that came across. I think just for now, because I don't know what's making that noise, I'm just gonna get rid of the effects volume. Alright, now let's go to ship list, mainstay destroyer, mainstay destroyer 2, refit all, thank you, uh, press escape, yep, they're just pumping out, because it's basically like such a minor upgrade, eh? Seems a little bit overpowered though, you'd think, like, let's just go, oh, crashed again, like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, I just want to look at the cost of the tactical nuke. Now the cost is at 40, the conventional torpedo tubes at 20. Honestly, if I were the one to balance this game, I would make the cost a lot higher, like at 80 or even 100. I mean, this is a nuke for goodness sake. Why is it like just a level above a, a torpedo tube? You know, it's not that much more expensive for what you're getting. Like, yeah, the damage is a little bit lower, but look at the range, and you get EMP with it, and EMP is great in this game, so, I don't know, it just seems like it could be a little bit more expensive. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show, because now, it's time, it is time, to take the fight to the Cordrazine in perfect timing. We have a cruiser! No! Stop asking me to save you. There is no time for saving. So we do have access to a cruiser now, but you know what? I think I'm going to wait for that for the next episode. It's time to get to the fight. It's time to bring the fight to the Cordrazine. They keep on harassing me, telling me to stop fighting them and, and destroying their ships that I haven't been destroying. It's time to bring the fight to the Cordrazine. So let's speed this up. Da -da 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 -da, like the Benny Hill show. There they go. In the meantime, while we wait, let's see everything all upgraded over here. Uh, everything's good. Let's increase that. Let's just, you know, just dump it. Maximize potential. Put that there. Uh, planetary. Do that. Do that. The warehouse. Do that. Do that. And yeah, I think that's okay for now. Are they almost there already? That can't be right. Oh, holy shit. Are they attacking already? Holy shit, that was quick. Okay, sorry. Uh, that was really fast. I wasn't expecting that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're in a fight right now. The invasion is commencing. Oh, you probably want to hear the combat noise apply I wasn't expecting that they were pretty quick thought they'd take a little bit longer okay let's 
So this might be a problem, this uh, planet here. I should probably... Oh, there's the nukes now. Just making short work of absolutely everything. Look at that. Bang, bang. Huge damage. Massive damage. And I don't know, are they attacking the Corvettes as well? Yeah, there's just like nukes everywhere. Oh, nukes are going in for that frigate. Oh no, there's that frigate. Oh, it was going to get hit. Bang. Oh no. Oh, he's EMP'd. He's done. He's a sitting duck now. So that's a lot of nuking. Over nuked, I would should say. And we're attack that now. He's done. Now, in theory, these nukes should spin and search for other uh, targets now. In theory. There's the little drones making short work. There we go. Another EMP. Yeah, he's going to be EMP'd forever. Oh my god, look at that EMP time. He's basically done. He's a sitting duck. Because look at that EMP overload. That's, that's in seconds. That's 946 seconds of EMP. So he's basically not in the game anymore. Now he's at 4,000. <laughs> a little bit overpowered, I should say. A, a little bit. Yeah, he's done. Uh, I think the nukes are a little bit overpowered. Um, I won't lie. So these guys are going to return back because they're all like, uh, uh oh, they mean chased down here. Those are plasma torps. The missiles are uh, taken out, taking out the little plasma torpedoes. Oh, okay, this guy's dead. He's not going to be making it back home in time, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's not making it back home. Sorry. Sorry, champ. You put in a good fight. All right, so these guys are going to retreat. So, because of the bomber situation, because if we look at the planet before we disappear here, Oh, what the hell? Ooh, wrong planet. Okay. So, what's taking us out? It's this thing. The rapid laser emplacement is pretty dangerous as far as uh, emplacements go. So, in order to take this out, I think what we'll need is some heavy, heavy, heavy uh, bombardment capabilities, which I'm going to show in the next episode. All right. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.